Well, today marks the end of an era for one of the most successful film franchises ever and by far the longest running. The movie No Time to Die comes out today and it is actor Daniel Craig's final appearance as Bond, James Bond. I think Craig's interpretation of James Bond is right up there with Sir Sean Connery's. It's funny to remember, though, the uproar from some when he was cast as Bond because he was blonde. Craig's version of Bond served as a true reboot of the franchise in a series where there was rarely any connection from one movie to the next. We've now seen five films that are all tied together. With Daniel Craig's portrayal of 007, we saw a gritty, grittier Bond, a character with depth and emotion that we didn't see in the previous iterations of the iconic character. So, where does the franchise go from here? That is the multi-million dollar question. Many fans have pushed for more diverse casting, and we've seen that. St. Albans alum Jeffrey Wright has played Bond's CIA counterpart, Felix Leiter, in three of the movies Daniel Craig starred in, and Lashana Lynch temporarily assumes the 007 number in the latest film. So, is it time for James Bond to change? If you ask Daniel Craig, he says no. Craig recently told Radio Times that the next Bond shouldn't be a woman, that there should simply be better parts for women and actors of color. And that last part should hold true for movies in general, not just the Bond films. As for who exactly will next play Bond, well, that's anybody's guess. But if they follow what they've done in the past, it will be someone that right now nobody's really talking about for the role. Hmm. Oh, this guy's perfect. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be smiling like that. Uh, the friendliest. It, the friendliest Bond. In history. The yeah, name is Perkins. right into the role. Sony Perkins. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.